Welcome back to my channel. In this lesson video, we're going to talk about the differences between thesis and non-thesis program for masteral or master's degree. Ano-ano nga po ba ang kaibahan ng thesis at non-thesis program? So basically, sasabihin ng iba, syempre thesis. Kapag non-thesis, walang thesis. Kapag thesis, merong thesis. Basically, yes. Evident yung may thesis sa thesis program at walang thesis sa non-thesis program. So let's check these out. In thesis program, there is more research. Unlike in the non-thesis program, there is less research or wala talagang research. Pero syempre may mga practical applications yan, merong mga assignments yan, merong mga projects yan. So yung walang research dito, nagkakaroon dito ng mga kapalit na mga practical applications. In thesis program, there's longer time to be spent. More time siya. Siyempre, kung may research, magkakaroon ka ng writing, ng mga preliminary chapters, magda-data gathering ka, magkakaroon ka ng interpretation of the data. So, these call for more time. Unlike in non-thesis, so medyo shorter yung time niya compared sa thesis program. Kaya yung iba na gusto matapos agad ang kinukuha yung non-thesis program. Sa thesis, there's usual projects. Sa non-thesis, large yung mga projects dyan. Nandyan yung mga huge projects, assignments, frequent assignments, yung mga tasks, marami. So, dito sa thesis, konti lang sila. Usual lang, kumbaga, a usual dose or average dose. Dito, marami sila sa non-thesis. Kasi kinocompensate nito yung kawalan ng research. Yung thesis, syempre, kung ikaw ay may planong mag-PhD, mag sa doctoral level, kailangan merong thesis yung iyong program. Kasi kadalasan, hindi tinatanggap sa PhD program yung mga graduate ng master's na non-thesis. Kasi yung nandito sa master's na research skills, kailangan sila sa doctoral level. Kung baga, parallel na meron kang background sa research. Yung research kasi, talagang present siya sa PhD, sa doctoral level. Ngayon, kung ikaw ay graduate ng non-thesis, baka sabihin or questionin yung part na hindi ka nagkaroon ng thesis. Hence, yung research skills, kumbaga, ay hindi ganun ka-advance. So, yun yung isang repercussion kapag ang ating masters ay non-thesis. Kaya nga, sinasabi ng iba, Kung hindi ka naman magpi-PhD, gusto mo lang magkaroon ng master's degree para magamit mo sa kasalukuyan mong trabaho, kumuha ka ng non-thesis. But, if in the future, you will think of taking doctoral degree, PhD specifically, then you have to take the program in master's that's with thesis. Definitely yung thesis, more in-depth, and there is intensive reading and writing. Kasi, Research skills yun eh, yung reading and writing, synthesizing, interpreting, part yan ng ating pagbuo at paggawa ng research. Sa non-thesis naman, just like what I have mentioned a while ago, more projects, more classwork, more tasks, more assignments, more practical applications. Okay, so yun yung talaga yung kaibahan nila. Now, these are the questions that I will be asking you for you to check on, reflect on whether you will be taking the thesis program or the non-thesis program. First question, why do you take masters? So, ano ang dahilan? Bakit ka nag-masters? Gusto mo ba na mag ng PhD or any doctoral program after? Or gusto mo lang magkaroon ka ng masters para sa current work mo? So, of course, the purpose, the goal that you really have should be kept in mind. Kasi yun ang magdidikta sa actions na ititake mo ngayon. Unless, gusto mong magmasters ng non-thesis tapos uulitin mo na lang na magmasters ng with thesis. So, up to you. If you have the enough time, well, your decision will depend on that. Two, what are your future plans? So, parang kapatid to ng question ko kanina. Why do you take masters? Ito, what are your future plans? If your future plans include having your PhD or EDD, then take a thesis program. Okay, so yung future plans na yun, ang reference natin, ang point of reference natin, kung alin dun sa dalawa ang kukuhain natin. Kung gusto mo halimbawa na hindi ka lang magtapos ng master's, magkaroon ka pa ng further advanced degree, 
then you have to take this one, the thesis program. Three, how interested are you in research? So, gano ka kainteresado sa research at kumusta ka ba pagdating sa research? So, do you have the skills? Have you experienced that in your bachelor's degree? How were you then? Ano yung mga skills mo? Ano yung mga pinakang gusto mo? Ano yung mga pinakang ayaw mo? So, assess yourself in short. How are you in terms of research? But definitely, ang mundo ngayon, hindi na natin maiiwasan yung research. Doon talaga tayo papunta at kailangan naman talaga ang research sa buhay natin. Personal point of view ko lang yun. Kung gusto mo talaga siyang iwasan, well, parang hindi siya madaling iwasan at hindi talaga siya maiiwasan sa 21st century. Uh, actually, ngayon sa promotion, kung gusto mong ma-promote, kailangan may research ka. So, alam mo yun, yung advantage ng yakapi natin, i-embrace natin yung research, nandun talaga. Four, in five to ten years, where do you see yourself? So, ano ka na ba in five to ten years? Ano ba ang gusto mo in five to ten years? So, Assess, check it out. Ano ba talaga? Gusto mo ba maging principal? Gusto mo ba maging supervisor, superintendent? Gusto mo maging dean? Gusto mo maging research instructor, professorial lecturer? Or kung ano pa mang advanced na trabaho kumpara sa kinalalagyan mo or sa iyong position ngayon? So, check that out. Five, are you more assignment-oriented or classwork-oriented or Intensive reading and writing oriented. Alin ka doon? Siyempre kung classwork ang gusto mo, mas gusto mo talaga, mas mahusay ka doon, pwede siguro yung non-thesis program. Then kung nandito ka sa intensive reading, writing, research, then kunin mo yung thesis program. So those questions could actually help us out. Ano talaga? So first thing of course, the purpose. The purpose dictates what decision, what action we are to take. Of course, hindi naman joke yung pagtitake ng masters. It would take you 3 to 5 years. And of course, maraming sacrifices, maraming challenges. Kaya mag-decide talaga tayo ano yung kukunin natin. Would it be thesis program or non-thesis program? There we have it guys. Thank you so much. Sana nakatulong sa inyo ang lesson video na ito. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more lesson uploads, practical tips, and anything educational. Have fun learning!